Vitek, as founder of Hamilton Conservatory for the Arts, can you talk to us about the important work that you do? Well, we, uh, we took over in 1997 and in order to make it arts accessible to all. Yes. And then, you know, we slowly developed this old tradition. It's over 125 years of wow. the operations. And then at some point I came to the, uh, make a decision that we need to do more than just offering classes. So I created two charities. One of them is uh, Arts for All. And the charity is designed for the, to make sure that all children in our city and beyond yeah. have access to arts, regardless of their financial background or, or physical abilities. Mm -hmm. So we, we start creating the programming for them. And mm -hmm. here we are 25 years later. Wow. We, we, we are you know, exploring more possibilities and I think uh, it's important that the arts are accessible to all children. Absolutely. And it's important that they, they be inspired. Mm -hmm. And it's important that they be they, part of our community and everyday life. Absolutely. So the, till now, I am proud to say that over 70,000 children wow. got access for the arts uh, from our organization and uh, in the music, dance, drama, visual arts. We believe the arts are to inspire all generation, all the ages, and everything. Talk to me about the inspiration behind your collection. Um, it is inspired, I used to work in the corporate world for a long time, okay. and when I left, this collection sort of came about as a part of that. It's got, it, it speaks to the disconnect between your social self, so the mask we wear, mm -hmm. and your essential self, so you're, you're, who you're hardwired to be and they're supposed to work in tandem, but oftentimes we focus on where we live, what we drive, what we wear, mm -hmm. at the expense of who we truly are. And that, that spoke to sort of how I felt in the corporate world for many years. Mm -hmm. um, and when I left, I started sort of hammering out this series. So mm -hmm. in, in the series with the ballerinas, the, the masks represent the social self, obviously, and the balloons represent the essential self and mm -hmm. the disconnect between the two. Um, wow. The squiggles above the heads are all the thoughts and the stories and, and all the sort of nonsense that gets in the way of us just being who we truly are supposed to be. What makes this house such a compliment to your work? I, I mean, I love the way it pops yeah. uh, with some of the darker colors and, uh, you know, all of the natural wood. Yeah. And it's got a, it's, it's a big space so that the art has room to breathe. Yeah. Um, and, it, it, you, you know, you can sort of step back and take a look. And I love, you know, I, I, I love sort of when you have these, these houses that have all of this character mm -hmm. and then you have something uh, you know some contemporary art that just kind of gives you a pop of mm -hmm. unexpected absolutely can you talk to us about what inspired you to initiate social space uh, well, many years ago, I was one of the founders of the West Hamilton Artist Tour, uh, which took place in Kirkendall. So, and that was a free event where uh, artists would open up their homes and people could come and tour, and uh, the artists would make sales through that way. Uh, but when the epi when the pandemic came along, uh, that sort of threw a you know, shut those things down and uh, I wondered um, you know what the future of, of the what tour would look like so I was talking to one of my uh, collectors and, and this was kind of during the pandemic and he said you know when this is all done why don't we uh, uh, have a show at my home I said, well, I don't know if I have enough work to do it myself, but could I bring some friends? Yeah. And we, it just sort of kind of escalated from there. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that, that was the origin story of, uh, of uh, what happened with uh, social space. Amazing. And yeah. now it's come to be, you've had your opening event and this is your holiday event now mm -hmm. where you invite artists into the space um, to do pop-up events in urban right. spaces. So why, um, why have that mission? Well, uh, first of all, I, I know a lot of friends who are um, involved in the arts community, not just as uh, not just as artists, but as buyers as well. Uh, and I think a lot of people are just very supportive of the arts in Hamilton, and they want to know how can I connect with the artists, buy their artwork, 
and uh, you know just feel good about supporting local art. So mm -hmm. I think this was a great vehicle to kind of say, you know. Here, come to our event. It's it's not a uh, it's not like a, a stuffy gallery or anything. It's a it's situated in someone's home or business, yeah. and I think people can feel relaxed to come in. Yeah. You know, they they get to meet the artists. They can have a drink. They can socialize as much as they want and yeah. not feel that intimidation factor of ha of having a, a you know a kind of a stodgy white cube to walk into. So that would that that's sort of the idea of the event. We're in a beautiful sunroom right now so everything mm -hmm. really comes to life um, and it really frames the artwork so beautifully and speaking of which let's speak about uh, your artwork that's behind us here vintage charm certainly yes yeah. uh, this uh, vintage charm is uh, it's a uh, 48 by 48 it's uh, the the subject matter is uh, Hamilton based and some may recognize it as uh, uh, an abandoned storefront on Barton Street uh, something about the light just drew me to it it was kind of mm -hmm. that golden hour mm -hmm. We were actually waiting to get our uh, Portuguese chicken from across the street. So, so oh, I love that building. And so you took inspiration from it, It's just the most night. Hamilton of stories. Lovely, yeah. Around. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. so uh, we just... Uh, I, I take uh, I take inspiration from whatever's around me, so whatever's yeah. at, at, at hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, that happened to be... I mean, a pretty humble place <laughs> and a pretty humble story, but there mm. it is. Now it's now it's finished. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you. And when <laughs> did you first fall in love with the urban environment? Uh, I think it was after I had um, my wife and I. We had kids, and I was. Uh, uh, always looking for something to do, exploring yeah. the city, yeah. uh, going up and down the, the the many alleyways that are around the city. There's so many, and they're so calming. You know, especially if mm -hmm. you want you want to get your little one to sleep, and you, you're going down the stroller. Um, so I found those really kind of a peaceful place, it's urban but with a sense of peace. And I just started mm -hmm. taking pictures and thought, well, those would look cool as drawings or paintings yeah. and, um, and that's it it just kind of went from there from that moment on you then uh, became a self-taught visual mm. artist so what was the process like being self-taught well at that time in the early 2000s there wasn't quite the network of you know social media and of uh, online presence so mm. uh, a lot of it I, I had to discover on my own but I, I made a, a uh, friends in the arts community and mm -hmm. they're very supportive in Hamilton mm -hmm. uh, in mo in most uh, areas I would say but had a great uh, uh, the AGH uh, was really helpful uh, Dundas Valley School of Arts uh, there were all kinds of, of shows that I could do and mm -hmm. courses you could take and yeah, it uh, it kind of went from there. Now you can now there's YouTube you can learn anything on, but right. uh, you know, and still do from time to time. If I'm stuck, I, I can look there for inspiration. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, yeah. kind of my life story there. I guess that's amazing. <laughs> and since then, you've dealt with so many themes within your mm. pieces, um, and for some of them, I feel like I've. You know, I've I've seen that place around Hamilton. It feels relatable and it feels like home. Mm. Uh, some of your pieces, I really admire your work. So, tell us about the themes that you convey through your pieces. Uh, thematically, I'm really looking at community. I think okay. and how the connected uh, co connected uh, communities, whether it's mm -hmm. through uh, buildings or neighborhoods. Uh, mm -hmm. And even if I'm doing something uh, of Toronto or if I travel somewhere, like, for instance, Mexico, I'm always looking for those uh, inner, the interconnectedness of buildings, mm -hmm. sidewalks, alleyways, backyards, sheds, whatever it is. So, uh, And I guess now I don't really think about it as much as mm -hmm. it, I just see something and I think... Well, that that's really inspiring to me. Wow! Yeah. Thank you for for sharing a bit yeah, of the insight sure. into into your work. Um, let's switch gears, if that's okay with you, and we'll yep. talk about your holiday event. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so November twenty second is the uh, the opening VIP night. So uh, now it's free to attend, mm -hmm. but we do ask for RSVP just so we we have an idea of how many people we can expect, and they are limited. So, uh, but it is uh, also a, a open for the the Saturday and Sunday as well. So if you don't feel um, you know you don't feel like being in a crowd and you still want to mm -hmm. see the artwork. 
Uh, you can come in, uh, you can check our website for hours. So it's at spo socialspaceevent.com. Uh, also, it will be online in a 360 degree tour. So if you don't, if you're from out of town or you, you, you know, you can't make it that weekend, you're busy, uh, you can, you can see it online as well. I would love people to know there is a thriving art scene in Hamilton and that uh, their contribution goes a long way because these are real people who have real careers mm -hmm. and real expenses and they, uh, they do it because they love the art and they love our city. So that's great support. Well said. Featured artists include Melanie Chung, Dana Cowie, Christopher Reed Flock, Lisa D. Hickey, Len Jessam, Morgan Jones, and Gordon Leverton. That's a wrap. If you're hoping to connect with the artists and spaces that we've seen here today, visit theartycrowd.ca and search for them under the crowd. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next month.